That's my girl. I'm in love with them. You already know what I gotta say about the enemy celebrity. Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha if you're new here. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. We're about to be talking about all the books I read in May. It's a good reading month for me, so I'm really excited to talk about books I read. I read 18 books. I know, I know. I think that's why I'm in such a good mood because like it's just been a lot of good books and I'm just I'm here for it. The first book I read this month was Everything For You by Chloe Liza. I think that's pronounced the last name. I'm not sure. So this one is the fourth book in the Bergman Brother series that she has on Oliver and Gavin. Same soccer team and they hate each other. You already know what I gotta say about the enemy celebrity. Like Gavin has always been mean to Oliver like his whole time on the team and they also have to co-captain. So like they're always like forks proximity because they're always having to spend time together. Oh also they are next door neighbors. I rated it four stars. I really enjoyed it and I love the Bergman brother series in general because like the whole series is good and then like you always see like the siblings popping up within each book. No because like the way she writes about her characters the love interests are always so they're always interesting and they're always so loving and caring and I'm just like ugh. Every time I read her book. So the next one, free on Audible. So I was like, okay, let me see what this is about. So it's a calm a gentleman by Sarah Adams. Now, this one is like a historical romance. They've been kind of hitting recently, so I was into it. So it's the first book in the Dalton family series, and I rated it four stars. It's following Rose and Carver. Rose is a con woman. She has to con Carver. So she has to con him, and he already knows it's a con from like the beginning. He winds up at his family house, and she ends up fading him for like the whole week that he's at the family house okay so the next book i read was accidentally amy and you know i love her books okay i love her books this one was not my favorite this one is he and blake i rated three stars and amy laughed at a couple parts but like it didn't really hold my attention like the rest of her books hold my attention he is a cute meat grumpy sunshine and friends to lovers grabs the cup that is in hers she ends up bumping into Blake and then later she finds out he is one of the bosses at her new job okay so the next one I don't know why I got this one but like this whole month I was buying books on my phone constantly I don't know why I had to use my storage on my phone to keep my own books when I run out of storage on my phone every single day I just need to hear there I've read Teach Me by Olivia Day so this is the first book and there's something about Murraysburg series it's following Rose and Martin they're both teachers Martin is recently divorced he has a teenage daughter so he's a single father I know it's something about single fathers in books in, in real life y'all can have that but in books it's so cute so they're both divorced and they're both history teachers have like trauma for the past relationship so when Martin's ex-wife gets married and moves to Murraysburg he moves too because he didn't want his daughter to have to pick who she wants to live with they end up sharing a classroom it's not really a three star it was a good book they both have like trauma for the past relationship it's like a workplace romance i did enjoy it like it kept my attention it was a quick read like the next book was good girl blood blood now if you know you know i love it like good girl got to murder hooked me this book rated at four and a half stars the rage she had in this book was everything so in this book jamie goes missing and jamie is the trial for max is still going on so connor's older brother and connor is peppa's friend she has a podcast in this book we use her podcast to talk about the trial that's going on and to help help find jamie this book had me crying at the end the plot twist at the end was everything i'm telling you read the series i'm so excited to start the third book next book battle royal it's the first book in the palace insider series on dominic and sylvia and they're both bakers and they both have bakeries like on the same block and they're competing against each other to do the cake for the royal wedding like hosting a baking show together as well yeah. so it's an enemy to lovers forks proximity and then turn friends to lovers type of deal you're in a how <laughs> you're in a how love those so I rated three stars of this book. I rated two stars, really like one and a half. It's the roommate situation. I, come on, y'all say, did not enjoy it. <laughs> not me trying to like not hate on the book, but I'm hating on the book. She was like one of those, oh, I'm super quirky, nothing's working out for me type girls. I just, I couldn't vibe with it. And then he was like the playboy and he saw her and was like, well, I think I want to settle down. Her boyfriend broke up with her, so she had to move in with her brother because she lost her job too. And she was living in New York and she's an artist. She was comparing herself to other girls. And I'm just like, I just didn't enjoy it. 
So the next book, the Fall in Love montage. I rated four stars. So this one is a YA. So Solomon, Ruby, and Shorsha is based in Ireland. So I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right or not. Book is based in the summer and Ruby and Sorsha meet at a party. Ruby is there for the summer. Sorsha living with her dad. Her mom had early onset her dementia. So her mom's like 55. Start hanging out and they decide to do the Fall in Love montage and basically like recreate the cheesy moments that happen in movies. Throughout the whole summer, they're doing all these activities, going on dates. It was a good book. It was realistic. The, like even the ending was realistic. Like the whole book was realistic like they hit a lot of topics they okay so the next one was kissing to a store i don't know how to pronounce it i'm not even gonna pretend like i did it three stars for her dear professor series so it's following anna and luca and anna and luca end up going on a date earlier that summer i think her senior year in college and luca is professor she didn't know he was a professor and he didn't know she was a student of course during the summer he ends up being her professor it's three star for me it was okay so the next one was too wrong make a right I'm this book was really good. I finished it. It was like the first book that like I read in a while that had me smiling and laughing throughout the whole book. Like I read it 4.25. It has neurodivergent representation. It's all on Bia and James and Bia's on the spectrum and James had anxiety and Bia's twin sister is dating James's roommate Jean Clark. I don't know how to say his name. They meet at a party. They don't hit it off. Like literally like the first time they meet she spills like three different types of drinks on him at three different occasions throughout the whole party that they met that they met at juliet and jean cloud get them to start messing each other anonymously they decide to start fake dating to get back at their friends i'm telling you like the amount of cute scenes in this book uh she always has like the best scenes like her male characters are always just so well written and so amazing and i just be like oh my god like this man he's literally like the biggest sweetheart like you know and like he's always fucking blushing too and i'm like when a man blushes in a book he just does something for me okay so next book was opposite track it's the first book in the first come love series and this one is enemy lovers flash neighbor lovers it's following luke and vivian and luke and vivian have the same real estate agent so Luke is in need of a new office space. He is a couples psychiatrist and she's a divorced attorney. So he's in need of a new office and they both have the same real estate agent. The whole morning on his way to go to where they, like his dream office, the office that he really wanted, he keeps running in to Vivian. Like events keep happening that like messes up his morning. First she cuts him off on the train, he misses the train. Then he goes to Starbucks to get a donut and she gets the last donut. Then he arrives at the office, like probably like five minutes after her, she gets the office space that he wanted. They start off on a bad foot because he yells at her um, about ruining his morning. She is a single mom and he has a really good relationship and bond with her daughter. His best friend and her best friend met through a dating agency. So they make a bet to see like whoever ends up with their perfect match first has to leave the office building. This book is like a 90 minute rom-com that you like are watching. It grabs your attention. They have your attention for the whole rom-com. And you're literally laughing and smiling at the cute scenes and the funny scenes. That's what this book is. I read it for stars. So if you know, you know. I started Smile High. I'm in love with them. Through and through, five star read. I'm in love with them. I think it's, yeah, I think it's my only five star read this month. Like, Mile High was such a good read. Fun, Evan and Stevie, Xander, Z, Z and B. This one is Dislike to Lovers. She is a flight attendant and he is a hockey player. He pretends to be like this bad guy and he's literally like the sweetest guy ever. So she's a plus size MC. She's mixed and he's black. So of course, you know, I'm reading this book. I'm like, I'm in love with y'all. He starts a foundation to help young kids get into therapy. When I tell you that this man is literally a sweetheart and he's funny and then the spice in this book too. And Stevie's just like this caring, loving girl. Like she volunteered at a dog shelter. Their banter is like so cute. Okay, so next one was Love at First Sight. It was okay. I think I rated it three stars. Oh, Melody and Nolan is also a workplace romance. She works at like a video game company. So she's like one of two or three girls and she gets put in charge of designing a game for women. Nolan is an intern at the company. So it's basically like workplace romance turn friends to lovers because they start hanging out and become friends and you know that. So the next one is also like a historical romance type book. It's Always Be My Duchess. This one's also another fake dating trope. He is like against love, against relationships. Oh, and Giovanni and Lysander she is a ballerina and a dancer and he hires her pretend to be his fiance so he can purchase his land 
I read was The Princess Trap. The Princess Trap is following Reuben and Cherry. Reuben is a prince in Cherry Racing Academy. So he visits the school to see if he wants to like donate to the school. And he, they end up getting caught kissing by a photographer. So they start fake dating. He has like a bad past with his family. He's not gonna rush him with his brother. Okay, so the next book was I Have Never, second book in the First Come Love series. Workplace Romance, he is her boss, Richard. So Blair just got a relationship and then she lost her job. So she got broken up with and lost her job in the same day. She was about to do everything on the list that she said she wasn't gonna do. Okay, so the next one, A Rock Bottom Girl by Lucy Score. Her books are always funny. So basically, Marley loses her job and she ends up moving back in with her parents. And Jake was like the high school bad boy and he is now a teacher. A small town romance. I love small town romances. She hates the town she grew up in. She did it with a mean girl and then everyone knows everything about you type vibe. She gets a job at the school working as a gym teacher and a girl soccer coach. Her and Jake start fake dating. The comedy is book. Her soccer girl, her hilarious. Her best friend, Victoria, and hilarious. So the last book I read this month was I'm All My Love. Rated about three stars. It's following Archie and Esther. Archie is an assistant to an editor and Esther is a cleaner at their office at night and she ends up similar upon this love note Archie for this girl he's been in love with. They start like writing notes back and forth to each other. They end up meeting and she ends up helping him write his love note to Jessica, friends to lovers. It has a lot of Esther's sister and nieces in there and then also a lot of Archie's family. I enjoyed it but I wasn't in love with it. That's all the books I read in the month of May. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!